Hello and welcome to this month's newscast. I'm Tara Tafra. And I'm Casey Neely. You're only weeks away from receiving the February issue of U.S. Glass, which will feature our first ever guide to glass fabricators. This special section provides an in-depth look at the North American fabrication market, covering a wide range of capabilities. Keep an eye out for this important resource coming to you very soon. Speaking of fabrication, back-painted glass has become one of the hottest products when it comes to interior glazing. I spoke with Vic Channel, National Sales Manager with Summit Glass, about the interest he's seeing when it comes to this market trend. What are some reasons for the increasing interest in back-painted glass? Uh, as far as the increase of interest in back-painted glass, I think uh, designers, marketers, I think even the, the, the consumer is realizing that it has a, a nice place in the market. Uh, number one is just the, the applications that it can be used for. I know backsplashes are a common application, but where else can it be used? Many places. Um, uh, let, let your mind be creative. But we're seeing it used as a vertical um, covering as well as a horizontal surface. So we're talking countertops, we're talking wall coverings, those type applications. How have you seen the market grow as far as the number of fabricators getting involved in back painted glass? Well, it's, uh, it's an emerging product, and so that forces the fabricators to uh, address whether they want to fabricate that product or not. So we do see an increase in fabricators offering the product and offering as a fabricated product. Uh, we see nice potential. Uh, it's a value-added product. I would hope that um, the industry sees it as that. But it's, it's a nice glass product uh, that brings enhancements to the work environments, to your living environments. Kitchen and bathroom applications are some of the most popular places for back-painted glass products, but they're not the only spots where interior glazing products are being used. Tara recently attended KBiz in Las Vegas, a trade show dedicated to kitchen and bath designs. At KBiz, you can find what's new in home remodeling, including shower doors. Yeah, we're exhibiting uh, our brand new slow close hinge. And uh, the idea is just like with a slow close cabinet, it's going to prevent finger pinches. It only operates in one direction, it swings out. And these hinges are designed to handle a lot more weight than your average shower door hinge. Um, at least 30% more weight per hinge than an average shower door hinge. Well, we have the Titan hinges. This hinge goes on an inline, it goes on an inline with a return paddle. And what makes this unique is that it can go in and it comes back and it always goes back to the spot it's going to be started at. So it's always centered. So it can adjust the speed, it's all hydraulic, it's really, really unique. The other thing is also is that we have this curved shield for this Titan, and which makes it unique. We have it on a tub, also we have it in a full size. And now, a word from our sponsors. And we're back. KBIS took place alongside the Builder Show last week, where glass industry companies were also exhibiting a number of new products. So we just won the award for our GR GRS system, which is our glass railing system. Uh, we did all the uh, Dade County uh, testing, so most uh, cities and locations will accept the ICC certification, again, instead of doing job-specific engineering. It saves a lot of time and a lot of money. And our GRS system is our heavy glass systems. It can be used with half inch, five eighths, or three quarter inch uh, monolithic glass and up to an inch and a quarter laminated safety glass. So this system is really designed for uh, all types of applications, cuts through a lot of the uh, red tape in your installation, and it also works with our uh, taper lock system, which is our dry glaze uh, railing system, which actually won some awards a couple of years ago. That wraps up this month's newscast. Look for us next month when we travel back to Vegas, this time for the Glass Association of North America's BEC Conference. Thanks for watching. 